Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you analysis and designing of G plus 3 single column on building by using StatPro V8i software. So initially, I will show you the image for that respected single column on structure. So click on this image. So this is the image which is related to the single column on building. It will be consisting of single column at this respected position center point and it will be consisting of the diagonal beams at the ground story and for the remaining story, it will be consisting of the regular beam sections and the corners are supported with the help of the column sections here like this okay so in this video i will explain you how to analyze this respected building structure by using stat pro v8i software so initially we have to click on the stat pro software so click on the new project option spacing option give the file name let us consider here i am taking it as single okay let us consider so save your file location as per your format and select the length units will be in meter as well as force units will be in kilonewton click on next option click on finish option the structure will be open here like this which is consisting of the 10 number of the grid lights in horizontal 10 number of the grid lights in vertical so for this respective section it will be consisting of two number of the base in horizontal position and vertical position in x direction as well as your y direction and height direction will be consisting of the number of base are 1 2 3 4 here okay so for that initially we have to go to the structure wizard option so go to click on the structure wizard option here by using geometry option so in this we have to select the frame models options so let us select so go to select your bay frame option and assume the length of this respected building will be consisting of 6 meter and height of this respected building will be consisting of 12 meter and width of this respected building is consisting of 6 meter here and we have to enter the number of base this time taking number of base will be 2 number of base along height direction are 4 and number of base along width direction will be consisting of 2 here click on apply option now we can see the 3d model will be open here like this so initially we have to import this model to start to software so for the click on cancel click on s option click on ok option so now we have to make this respected model to the single column on structure so for that firstly we have to select the column sections at the corner section here like this click on delete option click on s option again in the same process we have to select the side view for the building again we have to select the right hand side column section left hand side column section click on delete option click on s option here okay so after that we have to keep the structure in 3d view now you can see this respected building was converted to your respected single column but uh, you can see in the image it will be consisting of the diagonal beam sections at the ground story okay now we have to make the diagonal beam sections at the ground story for the building so for that firstly we have to select the front view go to cut section command select to view option click on ok so here we have to cut this portion for the building section now you can see the portion will be open here like this now we have to add the diagonal columns for this so for that firstly we have to select the add beam command select the first point here second point again in the same process we have to add the diagonal column for this structure here like this so after adding all this respective section so for the uh, building section it is not consisting of any kind of the corner beams here so for that section only we have to delete this respected beam sections at the corner points let us consider here like this so click on delete option click on s option so it will delete all your respective properties at the ground story so after that we have to click on the 3d view now you can see this respective structure was supported at the uh, single column on with the diagonal beams now we have to add the slab section for this respected section so for that firstly we have to click on the front view option go to cut section command select to view option here so click on ok option so now we am selecting this respective property so click on the top view now we have to add the slab section for this so firstly we have to select the uh, generate surface meshing option here like this okay so initially i am selecting first point second point third point again i am coming to the first point here so here we have to enter the number of divisions so as per my consideration just i am entering the number of divisions will be consisting of one numbers here again i am selecting one number here click on okay the same process we have to add the uh, generate surface meshing property for the remaining sections at the ground by using the number of base uh, divisions along the direction will be of one okay so now you can see all the slab section is added here like this for the ground section so we have to click on the display whole structure now we have to add the slab section at this portion so for that go to cut section command select to view option click on okay so here we have to cut this portion now we have to add the four node plate for this section select the first point second point third point again we have to select the fourth point here again now we have to copy this respective slab in horizontal as well as your vertical so for that firstly you have to select the plate cursor select this plate transitional repeat in x direction which is consisting of number of steps are one each step will be consisting of three meter now again in the same process we have to select this 
go to select in z direction which is consisting of one step which is of three meter click on ok so after that we have to click on the host structure now we have to copy this respect slab to the remaining stories go to transitional repeat and number of steps will be consisting of two numbers and each step will be consisting of three meter so initially we have to select in y direction click on ok so it will copy your respect slab to the remaining stories so after adding all this respected property now we have to define the dimensions for the beams column sections as well as your respected slab so firstly we have to go to general option for that go to property so initially i am defining the single column section which is consisting of let us consider 1.5 meter cross 1.5 meter dimensions click on add option again in the same process just i am adding the remaining columns just i am taking the column will be consisting of 0.3 cross 0.3 let us consider click on add option again in the same process just i am adding the beam which is consisting of the dimensions of 0.3 cross 0.23 click on add option close option and i am taking the slab thickness which is approximately consisting of 150 mm so now we have to apply the single column and section uh, dimension so for that firstly we have to go to the top view so here we have to select the structure uh, center point here like this okay so you can see all the vertical column is selected here go to click on assign to selected beams assign yes now we have to select the thickness by using assign to view assign yes option now in the same process just i am selecting the beams so go to select option beams parallel to x condition system again we have to go to select option beams parallel to z condition system so click on assign to selected beams option assign yes option so after that we have to select the column sections go to select here go to select your all the columns with the help of the top view section now we can see so here i am selecting the all the sections at the corner for this respected building here like this by using the top view section okay click on 3d view option now we can see all the columns are selected assign to selected beams assign yes option okay so after assigning the property now we can see this respected diagonal columns are not assigned with the beams okay so for that reason only we have to select the respected 0.23 cross 0.3 so initially we have to select by missing attribute section missing property now we can see it was selected your diagonal beams here like this so why because these respected beams are not parallel to x direction as well as z direction that's why these beams are not selected click on assign to selected beams assign yes option so after that we have to apply the supports go to select the supports condition click on create option click on add so click on select your support to select this so select all these points in base click on assign to selected beams assign yes option so for this respected building just i am assuming this respected building was located in zone to seismic condition so if you locate this respected building in high seismic zone you need to consider the seismic loading condition so in zone to seismic condition we have 0.10 uh, less amount of the seismic coefficient factor so that's why this time skipping the seismic loading analysis condition okay so for this respected structure also i am skipping the wind loading condition system why because the dimensions of the building is less when you come compare with the height of the structure okay why because this respective structure is having a uh, 10 meter above height okay so but for this respected tutorial just i am not considering the wind loading condition as well as seismic loading condition you can consider the seismic loading condition as well as wind loading condition as per your definition so i was uh, i explained plenty of the videos which is related to the seismic analysis and wind loading analysis for the uh, different types of the buildings okay so i will provide you that respected video links in above conflict you can check that respected videos okay so for this respective structure just i am initially considering only two types of the load cases which is related to the dead loading condition system as well as your live loading condition so for that firstly we have to select the loads and cases click on add option so initially i am adding the dead loading here select the load case type as dl add option again in the same process just i am selecting the live load here ll add option so after that we have to select the dead loading condition click on add initially i am adding the self weight for this so again we have to add the member weight which is related to the external wall load basically we have to calculate the external wall load depends upon the dimensions of your respected external wall so here as per the considerations of the external wall section so here we are considering the thickness will be consisting of 0.23 multiplied by your respected external wall will be consisting of your brickwork density of the brickwork is 20 multiplied by each floor height which is equals to your expected intensity of 13.8 here so here i am considering 13 point intensity so in zy direction click on add option so after adding this respected intensity of 13.8 we have to add the internal wall load basically we will consider 0.125 is the thickness multiplied by 20 multiplied by each floor height which is equals to 7.5 intensity so here we have to take the minus value 7.5 here in zy direction click on add option so after that we have to add the parapet wall load also so here i am taking 0.125 multiplied by unit weight of the brickwork multiplied by 1.2 meter height 
which is approximately equal to 3 kN per meter. So here I am adding this respected intensity is 3. Click on add. So after that we have to add the floor load. So select the floor load condition. So here I am considering the floor load will be consisting of minus 1.5 which is acting at a distance of 3 meter and 12 meter for the respected building which is related to the marbles and tiles. Okay. So click on add option. Close option. Now initially we have to select the unit weight. So click on edit option. We will change the sign to minus here. Why? Because the load will be applied in downward direction system. So initially we have to select the self weight by using assign to view option, assign yes option. So after that we have to select the uniform load which is related to the beams load. So initially we have to select the beams. So firstly initially I am selecting all the beam sections by using front view here. Okay. So if you select the beams parallel to x direction, y direction, the diagonal beams will not select here. So that's why I am selecting the front view section. Click on assign to selected beams, assign yes option. So after that again I am selecting this, click on assign to selected beams, assign yes, again I am selecting this, assign to selected beams, assign yes option. So after that we have to apply the lie loading condition system, select the lie load here, click on add option. So initially I am selecting the floor load condition which is having minus 3 intensity which is acting at a distance of 3 meter and 12 meter in global y, click on add, close. Now we have to add the load which is related to the load combination. So for this respected building, just I am considering the load combination, maximum load will be applied at the rate of 1.5 times of dead loading condition plus live loading condition. So otherwise you can apply your respected load combinations depends upon the Indian standard system. Click on add option for that, select auto load combination, select here as Indian code, click on generate loads here. So it will add your load combination here like this. So click on add option, close option. So after that go to analysis and print, add your no print option, close option, go to analyze option, run analysis, save it. So here we have to check for the zero errors for this respective structure. So here my model is checking for the zero errors. If the model is observed with zero errors, then our model is correct as per the analysis condition. Now we can see here my model is observed with zero errors, zero warnings. Go to post processing mode option, click on done option. So click on apply your load cases, click on OK. Now we can select any one of the load combination. Just I am selecting maximum which is related to the 1.5 times of dead loading condition plus live loading condition. This is the maximum deflection diagram for the building. Again in the same process just I am selecting the shear force diagram which is related to the FY. Again I am selecting the bending moment diagram for the building. So after that we have to select the plate pressure. Apply your stress type as absolute pressure. Click on apply. Click on OK. This is the maximum absolute pressure which is applying at the respected ground story section due to the presence of the single column section. Okay. So now we have to design this building section. So go to modeling option for that. Go to design. Select the concrete design. Now initially we have to select the code as Indian standard system 4 by 6. So click on select the parameters. So initially we have to deselect all the parameters. Firstly we have to select the compression, yield strength, yield strength of shear reinforcement, maximum main, maximum secondary. Click on OK option. Now initially I am selecting define. So let us consider the grade of the concrete will be consisting of M25 grade. Click on add option. Again I am selecting FY main. Let us consider here as 415 grade, 3 0. Click on add option. Again, I am selecting FI section reinforcement. It is also consisting of 415300. Click on add option. Again, in the same process, just I am adding maximum main 20 mm diameter. Click on add option. Maximum secondary 16 mm diameter. Click on add option. Close option. So again, we have to select the commands here. Click on design beam command. Click on add. Design column command. Click on add. Design slab element command. Click on add. Take off command here. Click on add option. Close option. Now we have to assign the question marks for the building. Go to select FC by using assign to view, assign yes option. Select FI main by using assign to view, assign yes option. Select FI section reinforcement by using assign to view, assign yes option. Maximum main by using assign to view, assign yes option. Maximum secondary also, assign to view, assign yes option here. So go to select your design beam command. Initially we have to select the front view for this. Select the beams which are in horizontal position here like this. So click on assign to selected beams, assign yes. Select the columns, go to select beams parallel to Y condition system, click on assign to selected beams option, assign yes option. Select the design element by using assign to view, assign yes option. So after that go to analysis and print again, add your no print again, close option again. Go to analyze option again, run analysis, save it. Again we have to check for the zero errors for this respected model. Now again my model is checking for the zero errors for this respected structure. Now we can see here my model is observed with 44 warnings here. Okay. So initially we have to reduce that warnings to 0. Go to output file. Click on done option. So initially we have to check whether the uh, beam sections or column section are obtained with warnings or not. So go to warnings option here. Select the uh, respected design section. So here it is showing that uh, section was failed. Okay. Fine. So go to select your reinforcement values which is related to the column sections. 
so it is showing that uh, dimensions of the respected column will be less as per the consideration so initially we had to change the dimensions of the column so further go to select your column sections here so here i am selecting this respected column so click on edit option so here i am changing this respected column section to some dimensions of 4 cross 0.4 let us assume otherwise you can consider 4 5 or 4 5 click on change option yes option so after that go to analyze option again go to run analysis save it here again we have to check for the zero errors for this respected structure so again my model is observed with zero errors but the warnings are obtained here as 20 numbers again go to output file click on done option so you can select your respected uh, warnings option so here it was obtained with the section was failed due to presence of the higher reinforcement section for the respected slab okay so here you can select the respected dimensions of the plate by using edit option so select your respected property which is of 0.2 here click on change option yes option close option go to analyze option run analysis save it. okay again we have to check for the zero errors for this respected model so here my model is checking for the zero errors as per the consideration so now we can see here my model is obtained with zero errors and zero warnings this respected warnings were obtained due to presence of the lower dimensions of your respected section so go to post processing mode click on done option apply your load cases click on ok so go to select the beam cursor deselect the deflection diagram select any one of the beam just i am selecting this beam double click on it click on concrete design so this is the concrete design for this respected diagonal column which is consisting of 6 bars of 20 mm dia at the top and 3 bars of 16 mm dia at the bottom and shapes will be consisting of 19 sections which is of 8 mm dia with 100 center 110 and center to center distance in the same process we can select any one of the column just i am selecting here click on concrete design so for this respected column section it is required 20 number of the bars which is of 20 mm diameter for the respected column section again in the same process we have to select the uh, column section for the single reinforcement single column okay double click on it so double click on it click on the concrete design so for this respected section also it is required 20 number of the bars which is related to the 20 mm diameter okay in the same process you can check the reinforcement values for this respected remaining sections also as per the consideration okay so after that we have to load the output file for this respected design so further go to select your start output file option here so it will load your respected start output file here go to results option click on the concrete design so this is the concrete design which is related to the beam design reinforcement section column design reinforcement section and slab element design reinforcement section for this respective section okay so for the respected plane it is required 216 square uh, meter for the respected longitudinal reinforcement and transitional reinforcement okay so this is the process of analysis and designing of your respected single column and building section with the diagonal columns by using stat pro v8 software so if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you